Oh, I take rabbit here again. I'm gonna have a little bit of a look at um, LED lighting, and um, right now we're going to have see if we can use a basically a LED light for construction as a light source for filming. Also, uh, this is not a very cheap set, so basically the for the same price you can buy a set of uh, for, um, video lamp or you know LED lights for um, videos of or picture taking but um, uh, maybe one would have a scenario where one also needs to have construction lighting and it's the only light source one has then no one doesn't want to buy another set of LED lights for filming so yeah we can give it a test and see what will happen I actually need construction lighting and I don't want to use the LED or the current filming lights for um, construction work. I don't think they'd survive. Okay. Oh, that's a sturdy stand. Lamps are back in so. So, okay. Bunch of packing cardboard. So, let's see. Um, wonder where they put the instructions. Not seem to be on the box. Sharp plastic edges. Actually. Okay, so that goes up and down. Okay. <laughs> so. are heavy. Okay, what the heck those? It's like a s whoa! What in earth? <laughs> I don't think I need this many stickers. I don't know. Okay, it's in different languages. I suppose, or why did they end up with this? Oh, this must have been some packing mistake. Oh, hear that. Okay, so I know we have the build instructions, and then some kind of useless note, safety instructions, or something. That's just garbage. I'll throw that away. Okay, so where do we start? Okay, 
Oops, already did that. It's got a real heat sink in the back of plastic, I think, or is it aluminium? It's actually hard to tell. Should have been a um, 
a washer and split the washer for the sec center section also. trying to show. Okay, that's for that one. That's for that. No, okay, it's fine. Just me reading the instructions wrong. So. Yeah, that still turns even if it's got a locking motion. I have to get a, get a wrench to tie that together. Okay, so that's that. And now we can plug it in. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of light. Turn that one off. Turning my main lights off. So, move this to the floor. So I just did a quick setup, it's probably not the most best place to have them. Yeah, I think I showing up in the picture okay. Oh, they're very blinding, so I would have to have a diffuser or something if I was gonna use them for direct um light lighting of the person, at least from the front. But I think they'd work if one um turns them up to the to the ceiling and just had a reflection from the ceiling. Let's see if I can actually do that. Ow. I must say they haven't done a very good job of softening the plastic on that. All the plastic edges are very rough. <laughs> it's still still shines a little bit. Oh, it's still too bright, really, to, to work under, that's for sure. It would be great work lights if they're held behind. Anyway, so, um, no, I think for, at least for di direct from the front um, lighting, this is not working. I think if one had the lights from behind without blinding the camera, or from the side, that might work. But right now I can't recommend using those as as video lighting. Don't think it'll if it's not gonna reflect off something or be hidden behind a diffusion layer. Anyway, okay, well that was a quick 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 one. If you like this video consider subscribing. Check the um 
bell icon. Um, share this with people if you think somebody would be interested. In. Yeah, well, I think uh, from my personal perspective, at least as um, camera lighting, not a good idea. As work lights, yeah, fantastic. You can set them behind somewhere and, and it'll really make working very easy. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.